This video will focus on the new multiplot object for LT Design 11.1. If you don't have it in your recent list, you can actually open it uh, and start to use the plot by going to C, User, and then the build version of your LT installation, Drawing Area, Demos, Multiplot. Just open up that DSN. I'm telling you to start here in this demo DSN because by default, here's the multiplot. It comes in blank and it's not getting any data, so you don't have a good idea of what it can do for you. Obviously, you can see it's heavily customizable. If we go into run mode, though, that really is showcased. For example, it can be resized and, and told to draw things on a plot, much like old logo plot. It can do classic strip charts. It can connect to external data and plot that. And um, everything about the chart itself can be customized. For example, let's just say that I want to um, fill this so I don't want just a line I want a line and a fill and let's just say I want the line or the fill origin to be inverse so that either fill from the top or the bottom it's up to you how you want it to display you can keep it at center if that's what you prefer too but I'll keep it at the top here um, I'll put little markers um, perhaps squares at the top of every plot all right and then I'll, I'm gonna change the line fill color to be blue so now we've got a, f a blue fill with black markers. All right, so that looks pretty good. And you can actually change the line alpha too. So now it's looking pretty nice and op uh, translucent with the, the square markers and the lines. Now, this is pretty neat because no matter what you do, this is the strip chart, but this is the external data, and this is drawing Altia. It keeps your appearance settings regardless of what it's plotting. All right. Um, and how it plots is also up to you. For example, if I increase the sample period, you can see that it's a lot larger waves uh, than a tighter sample period. You can actually tell it to p produce new data from the left or from the right, and you can customize its width and height. So if you need a real narrow plot, you can have that as well. So this applies regardless of what mode the plot is um, in. It just takes all these properties and spits out your data as it comes in. All right. So the data can be sent to it in any form, but typically you're going to be sending to the next X and Y animations in order for it to get to draw something. This data is usually comes in from code, of course. All right. So let's just, uh, before I end this quick intro video and let you guys play around with this demo for yourself. Let's jump over to, to the um, Connext button here and go to the Properties. And I just want to show you x-axis zoom. This is pretty sweet. You can actually zoom in on your data until it's just zooming by, right? And so this shows you just the, the amount of granularity on your plots and how, how detailed you can get with it, all right? So um, finally, there's our grid test, and this is going to configure some axis lines and colors for you. And then just one more, a multi-line. So you can actually plot two different lines with different colors and different fills. All right. And then go back to Altia. There's this um, annotation feature, too, that I should mention. Uh, and if you zoom out on both the X and Y, let's do like minus 50 on the X. You can actually see if I click these annotations, you can add annotated lines and annotated shapes to your graphs too. And of course your graph can be completely zoomed in or out. All right, so that's that's the Altia plot object. And of course we've got plenty of documentation on this as well to describe in very much detail every single one of these properties. But again, I just suggest you kind of do what I did. Open up the nice multi-plot demo DSN. Go ahead and tweak, play with these presets um, and then tweak the properties to, to try to find out exactly what setting would suit the plot that you want for your model.